Hello everyone, this is a very quick tutorial where I'll show you how you can set up a mobile Bitcoin uh, wallet. Uh, we've done something similar in the past when we set up a, an Ethereum or EVM wallet in our browser using a browser extension and I'll show you in the future how you can set up a wallet on your desktop using uh, uh, for uh, cold storage a hardware wallet uh, today this is a very brief overview of how you can set up a mobile wallet we'll be using bitcoin um, as as an example so i have here uh, downloaded a blockstream green wallet now not because this is the best wallet uh, but because it was the one that was available uh, to me i'll provide you with some resources where you can uh, have a look at what's available uh, to you and uh, some resources that will help you make an educated guess about the best wallet, best Bitcoin mobile wallet for your needs. Now, uh, options are limited compared to what's available on uh, the Ethereum side of the fence or the EVM side of the fence, if you will. Uh, I will agree to the terms of service and privacy policy, which I have read uh, fully, <laughs> and then click on get started. Now, I want to set this up as a... Uh, not a hardware wallet. I don't want to connect this to a hardware wallet because I'll be doing this in the future um, at, uh, on my desktop. I want to set up a um, hot wallet, a mobile wallet. So I click on the first option and then new wallet. Uh, now, what the tips here are very uh, important. Uh, you need to be in a safe environment. What you will be presented with is very sensitive information. Whoever has access to this seed phrase will have access to your funds. So make sure that unlike me, you're not around any cameras or you're not recording your screen and so on and so forth. As a matter of fact, um, some wallets will even block screenshots or screen recordings uh, if you attempt to do this. Uh, during the setup process or during uh, anything that involves revealing of your seed phrase. So I'll show the, re the recovery phrase now. Uh, I would like for it to be a 12 word uh, recovery. And here are the words. I'll need uh, to take a careful note of these words, which I will do uh, uh, immediately. So again, pen and paper safely stored. Uh, we've discussed this in the past. I'll just make a quick note of those uh, for the sake of this video. Uh, movie, ski, click next, All right, and it will ask me for the ninth. This is uh, simply to make sure that I've noted uh, down everything correctly. Uh, I'm selecting the options here. Um, number four, number uh, 10. I'll set up a pin. Again, you'll need to use a strong combination don't do what i'm doing here this is simply for illustrative purposes and this is pretty much it uh, welcome to your new wallet create an account this will be a uh, standard uh, native segwit account uh, this is our bitcoin transaction uh, we can um, you know uh, see our latest transactions here of course uh, it is empty as of now and we can uh, receive um, this is our address for receiving uh, funds and this is how we uh, send uh, money this is where we put the the uh, recipient uh, address and we can you know we can also scan a QR code in order to send uh, funds now I'll, I'll pause this for a moment and I'll be back uh, with some additional details I have now funded my wallet with some uh, money. As you can see here under latest transaction, uh, five confirmations have elapsed. Now, do you need five or six confirmations for $5? Uh, not really. 
I don't think so, but this is how you can send a simple transaction using this wallet. You click on send here and you paste the address that you want to send uh, um, the funds to and I'm going to send everything by clicking send all. Click on uh, next. Um, it will show me the address again and I'll need to make sure that it is the correct recipient address. I've double checked it. As you can see, network fees are uh, calculated um, by themselves. Uh, or uh, I guess the uh, application calculates this uh, for me and I simply slide to send and that's pretty much it. I've now um, sent the funds to a different uh, address. Pretty simple.